Hello, loves. I'm really not a fan of this lighting right now. I'm trying to like get this situated. The first time I hit live, it was zoomed into my face. And then the second time I was like, wow, it's like zoomed into my boobs. So I propped this up and this is just gonna have to be what it is. Welcome to the spontaneous reading. Fuck, I keep forgetting I want to. How the fuck do I do this? Is this possible? I wanted to do a tag at everyone because I think I can do that. We'll see if it worked. Okay. Welcome to this live. This is my first live I have done since I moved to San Diego last month. It's been a month yesterday, I think it was. Hello, beautiful Raina. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. So three things we're going to talk about today. I was just doing a bunch of Instagram stories and last night I hosted the Magical Babes Manifestation Masterclass and we're going to talk about three things. I'm looking down here because I have my notes down here. So number one, we're going to talk about the energies really quick. Number two, I'm going to do a quick little reading with this beautiful Oracles of the Unicorn card. It's probably just going to be like a five minute live or so because my phone's about to die. And then number three, we're going to talk about my new manifestation offerings. I do want to show you the oops the beauty of this room that I'm in in my new place and the living room is like exactly what I've had on my manifestation or my vision boards and I talked about that in the master class last night too okay so welcome in let me know how you're doing um I woke up this morning super early and texted one of my friends I was like girl I'm so tired of sleeping bad because I don't know about you guys, but I'm like way more sensitive than the average human and I'm even way more sensitive than the average empath. So anytime we have all of these different astrological things happening, it always affects my sleep. So let me know if you can relate. I'm actually going to post a funny little meme up about that. Um, but I found out that today there was like solar flares happening and it's apparently like off the charts. And then of course, Yesterday was the 1010 portal, so like huge endings, new beginnings. Last week was one of the eclipses. Next week is the full moon in Aries. So there's lots of energies happening, lots of things moving. And yeah, a big time for powerful changes. So let me know how you're feeling below. And yeah, you can read my meme post that I'm going to put up to, that will kind of explain a little bit more about how to work with these energies, what to do if shit is coming up and all of that. All right. So I'm just going to do a little quick reading. I was feeling inspired. I was talking on my Instagram stories about, um, yeah, just like having a conversation with my friend this morning, all the different energies I'm feeling and these new offerings that I am bringing back or well, yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. There's some like rebranded and new things that are offerings on manifestation. I feel like I talked so much on my Instagram stories and now I'm in the train is honking. Now I'm having trouble, trouble <laughs> talking. So I'll upload those stories on here too on Facebook so you can watch them and I'll briefly talk about it in a minute. But I was just feeling super excited after the masterclass last night and feeling like I'm back in my magic. I'm back teaching and helping people and doing what I feel like I was put on this planet to do. And the recording of that masterclass is $33. It is, um, I was going to say it's linked in my bio. I'm not on Instagram. I will link that in the comments below. I wasn't even asking a question yet, but we got awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. So I'm feeling like this is a message that we need to reprogram our brains and instead of thinking about what our fears are right now, because so many of us are going through big transitions right now, and we might be like in the holding period and a waiting game, waiting to hear about a job, waiting to hear about something with your business. I feel like I'm in the all of the above right now. But just think about what you wanna manifest. Like this is what I was channeling earlier for myself, for Mother Mary. She was like, focus on what you want to create. Don't focus about the worst case scenarios or the fears, like act as if it's already yours. So that I feel like is just the message that wanted to come through. So let's just see if there's any other advice cards. They're telling me that's it. Pull one more card. <laughs> okay. Cause I can feel my energy dwindling. So my angels are like, bitch, go rest. So that's probably another message too. If you're feeling out of it right now, 
like don't push yourself too much rest because if you keep pushing when you're exhausted then the universe is going to force you into getting sick like that happened to me when i got covid right before moving out here in august so yeah please rest please take care of yourself i did talk about that in the master class last night too like the new feminine paradigm the new way of manifesting how to relax and receive and so much more all right so what is manifesting for the beautiful people listening to this and i did channel some messages and pull some cards in that as well last night the class was mostly full of a bunch of tips on how I manifested my seventh move here to San Diego, or not seventh move to San Diego, seventh cross country move. I'm in San Diego at the moment. I lived in San Diego for a very short time before, years ago. What is manifesting right now? So yeah, like I was saying, I talked about all the practical tips on how I did that and some other shit that I haven't taught in any of my manifestation programs before. That's like in depth, next level shit. Cause it's 10 years next month of me teaching manifestation. Okay, do we have another card? What is manifesting for the beautiful people listening to this? Oh, my hands hurt. Compassion, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. I feel like that is like, cause this is very relevant for me. Don't beat yourself up right now if you're exhausted, if you're tired, because there's so much happening energetically. And I know I'm, highly affected just by a full moon so when we have all of these other things going on right now like and our bodies are upgrading of course we're gonna need to, to rest so don't beat yourself up for however you're feeling forgive yourself forgive others and just be gentle with yourself it literally says that i forgot already and the yellow on here is making me think of solar plexus chakra so that will be beneficial for you to work on this time tapping into your worth your confidence your power and I actually do have a masterclass on that too called the Goddess Power Virtual Retreat. I'll link that below. It's also $33, I wanna say. It's recorded also from a live that I did in August. Healer, you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. So what I'm getting from this is to use your healing abilities on yourself. Like I just started doing Reiki on myself this week and I didn't even know how to do it. It was a suggestion from my healer and I just like was like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. And I basically like taught myself. So I'm getting that, but I'm also getting, you really got, and this is a message for me too, because as I'm stepping into new things in my business, I'm also working on believing in myself and knowing my power. And that's how I can teach these things because I've struggled with shit like this off and on and have come through the other side and I'm getting to my next level. So of course there's new shit coming up. So the world needs your gifts. Whoever's listening to this, stop doubting your fucking self. I'm also getting a message that somebody on here is waiting to launch a business that is very needed in this world. And you got to stop procrastinating. Make it simple. Start with one baby step. Get out of your own way. Ask somebody for help if you don't know how to do it. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and readings if you need guidance on how to do that. So speaking of new offerings, I already talked about the masterclass. That will be linked below, like I said. So I am bringing back my membership was prior no previously known as Rise from the Ashes. It is now going to be a different name, which I will share more about soon. It's being rebranded, and it is going to be a space for manifestation, for stepping into your power, for healing, tapping into your feminine energy, death and rebirth. We're going to have a theme each month, and we are starting it on October. We isn't me <laughs> and whoever joins. I am starting it on October thirty first. And the theme for the first call will be healing the witch wound. I'm so fucking excited for this one. I got this download last week. So I don't have the website, the sales page for that one updated yet. So you can drop your email below if you want to be on the wait list for that. But that's going to be so motherfucking powerful. And then all the other new offerings I already mentioned, the Magical Babes Masterclass and my one-on-ones and readings. And I'll also be doing one-on-one -on -one VIP retreats as well that's listed on the one-on-one -on -one coaching page if you want info on that i know for me it helps me so much to have a coach or mentor to help me push past all the fears that i'm having and just help me get out of my own way like a big part of that well a big part of why i had a coach and a healer before i cannot talk my brain cells are stopping my healer 
helped me move through so many fears that I was having about moving back cross country after being back in my hometown for so long. I had a lot of fears to move through. So that's why I also like to do coaching is because so many coaches have helped me over the years and I've also coached many other people throughout the years. And I just love being there for you and helping simplify it, give you clarity, get you out of your own way. And just like being your cheerleader and your best friend and supporter. So all the links for that will be below. below. Drop your email if you want on the wait list for the membership and to be in on the Healing the Witch Moon Masterclass on October 31st. I'm sorry, I'm calling it a masterclass. It's part of the membership. So, and we'll be doing goddess circles in there as well. I'll share more about the format soon. So it'll be two calls a month. The first one, well, I don't, doesn't necessarily matter what order it's in, but one of the calls will be a teaching on whatever the theme is and the second one will be like a goddess circle with witchy rituals and manifestation shit because when women come together we are so much more powerful when we manifest when we pray when we do rituals together and also on these significant astrological events there's so much power happening that's why i did the master class last night on 10 10 so yeah i can't wait to fuck shit up with you babes that's what i say but i'm like let's fuck shit up and manifest shit together Alright, I love you, I love you, I love you, mwah, mwah, mwah. I will see you later, have a great day.